hello everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new you're welcome i hope you all are doing well so in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to make your own crochet wig with a lace frontal to make it look natural so i'm going to be showing you from start to finish all right so with that said let's go straight into the video so first thing first i'm gonna go ahead and set up the uh, the tripod for the wig so this is a well uh, um a wig tripod so i bought this on aliexpress and also everything i'm going to be using in today's video i will have a direct link in the description box down below so be sure to check it out so next i'm going ahead to place the uh the head mannequin and also i got this on aliexpress as well so like i said earlier don't forget to check the description box for all details okay all right so just making sure the wig is uh the wig mannequin is properly set up and to the right uh, height the best thing about this tripod is that i can easily uh, adjust the height at, at all i want it to be or how short i want it to be so that's awesome okay first of all we have to make a foundation so to do that you want to go ahead and take your lace wig sorry you want to go ahead and take the black wig cap and then go ahead and place it on the on the head mannequin so next you want to go ahead and take the swift lace uh, just place it on top and next you want to go ahead with a pin to pin it in place making sure the the lace on the crown is flat because you don't want it to be bulky so once you're satisfied with that you want to go ahead and take your scissors and trim out the excess lace making sure to leave to leave a lot enough uh, lace on the front so you don't want to cut it too short on the front just in case you want more hair on the front on the front you have more lace to work with so once you make a decision on that next step you want to go ahead and sew it down so once you're done sewing down the lace the swift lace next step is to cut out the black cap under the lace okay so the hair i'm using today is a pre-stretched yankee straight hair in the color coffee brown so i bought five uh, bundles of this hair on alias price but i only use four bundles for the entire wig so i have one bundles left so this is the hair right here it's super duper soft and uh and also the texture the texture is different from the expression braided hair so this the texture is way different it's not like the expression braided hair that you if you do the crochet braid it will stay in place the knot will stay in place but with this one you might have to do about three to, to you might have to do about three to four knots in order for the hair to stay in place okay so to do the crochet wig so you want to pass the crochet hook through the black cap and then hook the hair and pull it through so next you want to take the crochet hook hook the hair pass it through the loop hook it again pass it through the loop depending on the texture of hair you are working with you might have to do a triple knot instead of a double knot just depends on the hair you're working with so for me i only did uh, did a, dip, a double knot i don't know why i did that but i just went with a double knot because i'm used to doing double knots when it comes to crochet braid so just doing the same thing passing the crochet hook through the cap hook the hair pass it through just using the crochet hook hook the hair pass through the loop hook it again pass it through the loop and then pull on the end to okay let's talk about the color of the hair you don't have to use the same hair color i use in this video you can use any hair color of your choice and your wig will still come out looking bomb okay so all right with that said let's go straight into the lace frontal part so so far this is how it's looking i've already done most of the lace frontal i've already crocheted them down so you can see it's looking natural all uh, right now i'm gonna show you guys how to do your own lace frontal okay okay so to start you want to take the hair you're going to be using and fold it in half making sure to separate it with your fingers just like that so you want to take a small like a really tiny crochet hook so you want to take that and pass it through the lace so you want to hook two strands of the hair not three not four just two strands like that and pass it through the lace using the crochet hook hook the hair and pass it through the loop just like that that's all you have to do i'm going to show you one more time using the crochet hook pass it through the lace hook two strands of hair 
okay so hook two strands of hair pass it through the lace using the crochet hook hook the hair pass it through the loop just like that okay so right here i'm going ahead to crochet on a straight line to create the center uh, pad so that's they also this line will serve as a guideline for the for the lace front so so that way i work on one session before moving on to the next session okay so let's talk about the hours the days the weeks i spent on this lace front i was just teasing but yeah <laughs> i did spend days creating this lace front so that's because i took a long break in between clips <laughs> i was a little bit frustrated at first because i was like oh my god why did i choose to do a lace frontal instead of just going with a going with a small lace closure but i calmed myself down and decided not to rush it and just take my time and create it to make sure it look natural and flawless so making your own lace frontal requires a lot of time and patience. You have to be really patient because this can be a little bit frustrating, especially the fact that you're trying to crochet one strand at a time or two strands at a time can be a little bit frustrating. So you need a lot of break. So getting to the front of the lace, you want to make sure to hook one strand of the hair with a crochet hook and also making sure to space it out so that way you you get the natural looking headline okay almost done so for the last part you want to go ahead and do a single knot crochet on the edge of the black cap all the way around So you want to go ahead and repeat the same thing on the wig on the black wig cap so just in between the black cap and the lace closure so you want doing the same thing doing the single knot and making sure the hair the amount of hair you are using is smaller than the actual hair you've used before for the crochet hair so this will give you this smooth transition from the lace frontal to the crochet braid on the back So here is the finished result of the crochet wig i hope you find this video helpful if you do please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also if you're new to my channel please don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and also turn on the bell button so that way you will get notification whenever i post a new video and also if you already subscribed to my channel thank you so so much for subscribing thank you so much for popping by today and uh, i'll see you guys in my next video